Good morning, Holy Spirit students and parents. I do ask for this video that both the students and the parents sit down and listen to everything that is involved in this video. This video today focuses on self-health, taking care of yourself and taking protective action. Let me give you an example. If you are a parent and you are staying for a sports practice, are you social distancing yourself and wearing a mask, even if you're outside? We need to make sure that we are taking all precautions. When your kids are playing or you have a friend over, are you taking social precautions? If you want school to remain open for as long as we possibly can, then we have to be proactive and do everything in our power to stay safe and healthy. Last week in the school newsletter, we have a cleaning protocol for morning screening for parents as in English as well as in Spanish. We ask that you make sure that you do this screening each morning. Does your child have a runny nose, congestion? Do they have a fever of over 100.4? Do they have a cough, shortness of breath, diarrhea, a headache, nausea or vomiting, sore throat, muscle pain, fatigue, chills, and a new loss of taste and smell. Were you in close contact within six feet of someone who has tested positive? Have you recently had a COVID-19 test and you're waiting for the results? Then I would hold back on when you start school. If you know you've been exposed to someone with COVID-19 and you were within six feet for a long period of time, I would not start school on Wednesday. Parents, we all have to work together in making sure that our students stay safe and our staff safe and healthy. And we can do this if we work together and we communicate. We can make our buildings safe by following the protocols that have been set forth by the CDC and the Marion County Public Health Department. We are relying on each one of you to help us. In the day, we wanted perfect attendance, or we gave an Advil or a Tylenol to get them through to school. Those days are gone. There is no perfect attendance. If your child is running a fever, and it's allergies, or it's a sinus infection, or an ear infection, or it's strep throat, keep them home for 24 hours and watch their symptoms. If we send a student home with symptoms, then you will keep your child home for 72 hours. So by being precautious, and by being proactive, you can only be home 24 hours versus 72 hours. What's the choice you want to make for your family? We can make this work. We have to make it work. Remember, face masks, social distancing, always, in every social event, in church, at school, at sporting events, scouts, whatever you may be involved in. We must social distance wear our masks, and wash our hands frequently. If we do these measures, we can stay healthy. May God bless each and every one of you. We are so excited to start school on Wednesday, and we'll see you bright and early. God bless you.